Hi, it's Christopher with the Adventure Van and today we are at our second facility and we are getting the paint job done on the 6x6 Sprinter that we bought last year. Uh, it was a lot of time that we had to wait until uh, we could start with this project generally because of the traffic at our company but also because of switching our companies. Um, we've had about four months of um, difficult jobs and tasks to do to extend our uh, company to move it to the bigger place and allow some more work to do so what is behind me is a 2013 Sprinter with 53 original kilometers and it is 6x6 version with all possible lockers so it has five locking mechanisms 3 liter engine V6 automatic this is a crazy crazy um, vehicle with the best possible spec that it could come out of the factory. So yeah, let's go to the process of painting and I will be recording something about it. So what's happening here is the preparation of six by six sprinter painting. This is what we have here. This is the first sprinter. So we are painting it with Raptor liners. So we have um, primers, Raptors, everything. Our painter, main painter is here, finishing it up and here we have our team which is preparing it and due to the really big size of this truck, it is really big, we are um, painting it in, in here because Raptor does not need really a special special um, atmosphere or climate for painting so this is how we will do it. We'll paint it in this room and behind these doors <laughs> we have another 6x6 which will be painted directly after this one is finished. The color is um, Jotun Spruce. It's um, not like camo green but it is really really faded and natural looking green color. So what's happening here? Arek is preparing the, all of the edges, all of the edges where we need extra, extra grip. It is very important. And this is how we paint all of the vehicles. You know, this is how it has to be done. We don't only paint outside and leave the internal parts not painted. We change colors completely. So the paint job will be done everywhere everywhere where you will open the body the flaps the doors everywhere will be nice green beautiful color also here the flaps everywhere will be green the blue color will disappear completely it will only stay it will only stay in the engine bay here because obviously we don't want to remove the engine from this vehicle. This truck, this truck is really fresh. It has only 53 kilometers on the clock. Original 53. Even, even though it is 2013 um, production year, it has only 53 kilometers. That's crazy. So we are adding more of the extra grip primer. So the surface will be sticky anywhere. It is very important that when you paint with Raptor liner, you sand it with a very hard grade paper. The best result is if you um, um, send the whole car with like grade 80, 60, maximum 100 because uh, Raptor needs really really hard grip and if the structure is too soft then obviously it will be peeling off. So we will start in some minutes we will cover the truck with epoxy primer and today after about four to six hours we will start covering it with uh, Raptor and I will be also doing that because I love to paint with Raptor liner. 
So the track is ready painted, as you can see, and it took us it took us really really a lot of work to do this effect, and I will just show it around to you because from this perspective the color of the track is very very funky and here you can see that it is a completely different color uh, when I was recording myself and now it is a completely different color in reality it's really funny because this color is really really nice in the in the natural sun and the, the camera makes it look much different than it is in reality I think that the most, um, the most realistic way, the most realistic view on this color is here, right here, like in the front doors. Uh, I've posted some pictures on our, on our Facebook uh, of the ready truck and the color came out really like military, which is very different than in reality. Um, yeah, but really it is a really really cool color so we have a couple of things to do before we start with the interior we have some lights and cameras to install here our worker here is making the um, seals and the door flaps and everywhere so this is what we have to finish before we can take over to the interior and as you can see as usual all elements are painted all elements have changed color this one we will spray in black or brown depends from the interior colors this is why i didn't paint it now i didn't want it to be uh, this green i wanted that the uh, chair pots match the color of the interior so we will see that and let's take a look we have all of the lockers all of the beautiful beautiful things and we have 60 original kilometers on the clock 60 uh, when we bought the truck it was 53 <laughs> i've did seven kilometers uh, <laughs> i've drove seven kilometers with this truck when we tested it and when we delivered it from the place where we bought it to the factory and here you can see there is the second container for another 6x6 project, which I will show you in a minute. This one will be painted uh, tomorrow and it will be assembled next week with the chassis. So two 6x6 projects going on, very crazy projects. Uh, yeah, let's go to the number two. So the doors and flaps are painted. The doors and flaps are painted. Here we have the test, the test mounting of all of the flaps. Brrr, I have to go around. There's a lot of music, a lot of noise. That's the facility here. All right, so it's really noisy there. Uh, so I won't show you the second six by six. I uh, just shown you the box, the habitation box, which is taken care of. Um, I will go to the chassis later, but anyways, I will also save it for another episode of 6x6 builds. Um, so actually that will be more interesting. So I hope that you like what I have shown you today. And if you want more of movies like that, just hit the subscribe button, leave us a comment and maybe like the movie, share it, whatever. Just leave the comments and see you next time. Christopher Adventure Van.